the first of the month, and for many, rent is due. And housing is the biggest expense for those living paycheck to paycheck. Many people in the city of brotherly love are being priced out on rent. Financial experts say that generally, people should spend about 30% of their income on rent. Matt Petrillo has been digging into the data and found that's not the case here in Philadelphia. Matt? Just that's right. You know, people are generally supposed to spend 30% of their income on rent, so they have money left over for other items. But we found tens of thousands of people here in Philly spending more than half of their income on rent alone. It's very difficult. Cynthia Blocker remembers her biggest monthly bill was a $950 rent check for her one bedroom apartment in Philly, eating up more than half of her income. Basically, like living paycheck to paycheck. She didn't have enough to cover other basic expenses like food and utilities. It was either between paying rent or buying groceries, or what bill am I going to have to sacrifice and go over? Uh, balance this month. She's not alone. CBS Philadelphia obtained new data from the U.S. Census showing more than 88,000 renters in Philly spent at least half of their income to have a roof over their heads. Put another way, 88,000 is just over the seating capacity here at the Lincoln Financial Field and the Wells Fargo Center combined. It speaks a lot to poverty. Cynthia Blocker turned to Project Home for help. The Philadelphia based nonprofit provides affordable housing in the city and says there's a huge need for it. Paying more than 50% is becoming the norm, unfortunately. Cheryl Hill of Project Home gives the example of its newest community with 50 units. It only had 50 units, but in the week that that we had our applications open, we accepted 500 applications. So there's just not enough housing for the need that's out there right now. She adds people should be spending about 30% of their gross income on rent to have money left over for other essential items, something Cynthia Blocker is now able to do. And I'm so happy and grateful for the community and family that I have here. And Philadelphia has an eviction diversion program to help people. We have more on that coming up at 6. Reporting live in Center City, Matt Petrillo, Yuki and Jess, back to you. All right, Matt, thank you for that.